Now that's flippin' awesome. Hello everyone, this is Basil with another video. Hope you are all well and staying safe. When was the last time that you seen a flip phone? And I'm not talking about the Samsungs or I'm talking about the Huawei's. I'm talking about a Nokia flip phone. Well, I've actually got one in my hand. And it's called the Nokia 2720 and HMD Global was kind enough to send me one for review. Check this out guys. The Nokia 2720 flip phone. Let's do a quick unboxing. Okay guys, so this is the Nokia 2720 flip phone. Check this out. There's some details at the back and this is what the device looks like. Let's do an unboxing. Comes in this plastic container. In there you have the device. Check this out guys. Absolutely wonderful. This is a Nokia 2720 flip. So in the other box, let's check what's inside. You do get a pair of headphones. Remember these batteries? Well, you can put this into the flip phone so it comes with a battery. And then it also comes with some documentation. and a charging cable that's attached to a plug and that's a micro usb so this is a 5 volt charger and the battery is 1500 mah so let's check out the nokia 2720 flip I always love doing this that's the device guys check here so that's the front screen it's got the nokia logo emblazoned there this is the side, that's the back of the device, and this is the other side. Let's check the inside. Sure, that is nice, eh? Check this out. So, I'm going to put the battery in, I'm going to charge this device, and we're going to do a quick review of it. Okay guys, so I must admit that unboxing the Nokia 2720 Flip was fairly exciting and I really enjoyed it. It was not on the level of say a flagship phone, but does pique your interest as to what HMD Global has chosen to package with this particular device. Now, if you want to embark on some strange kind of digital detox journey or are simply feeling nostalgic, there is a way to scratch that itch with the Nokia 2720 Flip, a simple flip phone that is here to remind us how far technology has come over the last decade. Now, the button layout, as you see here, is also a little vexing, with a trio of buttons used for navigation and calling located either side of the central bed being a little too close. There is also something to be said of the clamshell design and flipping of the phone open and close that is oddly satisfying. Now the Nokia 2720 is particularly aimed at senior citizens and those that don't want bells and whistles in a phone and disabled users who struggle with typical smartphones. This is as simple as you get. Now instead of a touchscreen interface, the 2720 offers a large T9 keypad that's easy to read and use. As you can see, big numbers here. The screen also is not bad. Okay guys, so the phone features Google Assistant, which lets you make calls, ask questions, and send messages by simply speaking to it. Now, in addition, the phone has a built-in emergency button, as you can see here on the side, that sends an SMS with location details to five contacts. Now on the lid of the device, you can check notifications and the time on a small 1.3 inch TNT external display. 
Inside the phone has a 2.8 inch display which simply does not seem large mounted on a hinge above the keypad. Now the Nokia 2720 uses a Qualcomm 205 dual core processor to run Kios, a mobile platform based on Linux for feature phones. Now, despite not being a touch screen, and I think that's where it really irritated me because when I wanted to type a message, you can't just select the letters you want. You have to scroll through each of the letter or press a number of buttons to get to the word that you want typed, unlike a touch screen. Now, obviously, we know about this because we had these kind of buttons on the phones that we used before touch screens came out. So... The phone does support apps such as WhatsApp, Facebook, Google Maps. It offers 512 megabits of RAM and 4 gigabytes of onboard storage. Coming on to battery, and I think that's the best part of this phone. The phone has a 1500 mAh battery pack, which offers up to, listen to this, 14 days of battery life. I don't think any smartphone of today actually lasts that long. On the back, there is a 2 megapixel camera lens, as you can see here, that serves as the phone's only camera, right? But it doesn't take good pictures if you're used to a very high resolution camera. So let's show you the picture that I took. If I scroll down, you'll see the picture I took. It's not that clear. So this is the photo that I took. It does take decent photos, but not the best quality of photos. Now, the addition of 4G support as well as dual SIM, yes, this particular device is dual SIM functionality, are worth shouting out too. So, if you want to use this phone and if you've got two numbers, then it is dual SIM. Now, despite its sleek design and nostalgic feel, the shortcomings of the Nokia 2720 Flip are difficult to stomach given the phone's cost, which costs around 1300 and. 99 Rand. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's more aimed for the senior citizens and the elderly. Now, the device may be intended for consumers who do not need bells and whistles, but easy to set up smartphones are also available at that price point. But I really enjoyed this phone and I really had fun, you know, especially doing this when somebody called me. All I had to do was this, answer the phone and then close it. So it's really a nice device. And if you got an elderly parent or if you know somebody that needs a phone who doesn't want all the features of a smartphone, then this is a device to go for. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. And remember, there are a whole lot of other videos on my channel. So check them out and hit the like button as well. Until next time, please do take care of yourself and each other. And remember to remain safe. See you around. Peace.